What's your biggest this isn't what it looks like moment? Not me but friends they wear new lie what's, two different nation artillies, common language wasn't perfect yet, there were some growing pains, confusion about each other's cultural background. They had just adopted a puppy. Wife tells husband that neutering the dog would be a good idea, he agrees. Later the same day she takes the pup for a walk. He does his business and she notices that the dog's pee gets on his fur. So she decides to trim said fur. Just for the husband to walk down the stair mid haircut. Or better fall down the stairs screaming. He thought she didn't want to wait for the vet it's been over 10 years, they are still happily married, and we are still laughing about that story. My boyfriend and I were jumping on the trampoline together years ago, just bouncing around like a couple of kids, laughing our butts off. It was fun. He accidentally butt dialed his parents, who speak a phone are laughing, creaking springs, and gasping to a carload of people. They were all mortified. We were able to set it straight later, but oof. Sorry mom and dad. We were playing a game of hide and seek in the dark at a youth group at my church. It was 7.30pm and dark outside. All the kids hid inside the church while I waited outside for a minute or so. I had on all black, so I could be sneaky. I figured I'd start by looking through some of the windows to see if I could spot one of the kids. Meanwhile an old couple walks by for an evening night stroll with their dog and sees me, a black guy wearing all black, looking in the window of a church with all of the lights off. I started yelling I'm going to find you, in hopes they would figure out we are playing a game. Not me but a kid I worked with. He comes into the break room holding some sandwiches and a Dr. Pepper, sits down and starts eating, and then tries to have a drink, but he can't open it. I offer to twist the lid off but no, he can do it he says. So he puts this Dr. Pepper in between his legs, grabs the lid with both hands and twists. This, obviously, wasn't a bright idea. It explodes over his lap making him look like he's pissed himself. So he goes to the bathroom to clean up, gets some loo roll and starts mopping up but it still looks really bad. Over by the radiator is a hand dryer, so in his infinite wisdom he puts one foot on top of the radiator and the angles his crotch to the hand dryer and starts rubbing furiously as the hand dryer's going. Unluckily for him, he's facing away from the door so, when the next guy walks in all he can see is this skinny dude rubbing his crotch like no tomorrow while waving it under the hand dryer. Apparently the guy just walked right on back out after muttering a sorry. He didn't find it funny when I pointed out the Dr. Pepper motto was what's the worst that can happen. Once when I was in 8th grade I was hanging out at a new friend's place for the first time. We were playing chess and I dropped a piece behind a telescope that was in a room in his house. I had to move the telescope a bit to get to the piece. An hour or so goes by and his mom comes in furious. I guess the neighbors had a daughter our age. When I moved the telescope, it was inadvertently pointing towards her bedroom window. This kid's mom saw that and thought I was corrupting her son by getting him to spy on the neighbor girl's bedroom with me. Come on lady, we just wanted to play some chess. More of this site and what it sounds like. A family we were close to had just moved to the US from India. They had a young daughter, like 5 years old, who was still learning English. One day she fell down the stairs while playing outside. She ran in crying and saying the stairs hit me. Once she calmed down her dad corrected her and said no no. You mean to say I fell down the stairs. A few days later my dad was showing them the grocery store. In the checkout line the cashier saw the girl's bruised up legs and asked what happened. The daughter responded with what did you tell me to say, dad, oh right. I fell down the stairs. He had a fun time explaining that to the police. I used to take my kids to different playgrounds as they were growing up. Oftentimes I'd be out there with them, chasing them, being the random monster slash dragon slash antagonist while they run away and then eventually turn around and chase me back. Inevitably since the rest of the parents were on their iPhones or doing anything but interacting with their kids, I'd end up with a collection who wanted to join in the fun. It was all going well until they said they wanted to play Minecraft so as a group of kids suddenly scatter from where I'm standing yelling ah, run away from the creeper. App, I look up to see a line of parents suddenly jostled back into consciousness with absolutely no friggin context whatsoever. 
Also more of a this isn't what it sounds like. I was a weird person in high school, and my friends were equally weird. We had no boundaries. My friend and I were walking to class, and were discussing the jackass clip, where they had a gas mask and tube assembly where one person wore the mask and the other farted into the tube. We thought this sounded like a pretty cool idea, and were considering trying this out. As we walked around the corner, I said to him, I'll suck yours, if you'd suck mine. The hot girl conveniently rounding the corner at that precise moment. I went on a social at uni. Decided to help a friend host present. It was all good, then on the way from his house to the bar. One of the freshers went from being tipsy to absolutely wankered on the way. Which is normal. So we got her to the bar, got her a glass of water to see if it'd help her sober up. It didn't, but she was still coherent, so I offered to walk her back. So I had to walk her home. Nothing weird about that, then halfway back she took a turn for the worse. And had to explain to me she didn't want to go back with me for sex. And I explained, I was literally just taking her home. Then she'd be fine for a bit. Then about a minute later she'd say the same thing and I'd have to explain again and again. Oh and she wasn't exactly capable of walking by herself. So I was essentially half carrying her home. She was telling me not to rape her, and I'm a fairly creepy looking person. So I got way too many uncomfortable looks and overhead a lot of very snarky remarks about what I was gonna do for her oh, and she kept forgetting my name. So I was having to correct that, which made it all look worse. So I got her back to her halls, asked a flatmate to look after her, and went back out. But yeah I made sure a drunk girl got back safely, heard a lot of snarky remarks. Which you know I wouldn't be that bothered by, if people actually went to me, asked what I was doing, or whatever as I'd have been fairly happy explaining. And if people were that bothered they'd come back with me to make sure I didn't do anything. But no one did. I just overheard a constant barrage of being a twat. I got free entry to the club and a couple of drinks covered though. So it wasn't too bad. Living with my roommate, and I had put washing in the machine the night before. When I got home from work I remembered the washing. Opened up the machine, and grabbed an item of clothing, and smelt it to see if it had that I dried on my own so fku smell. But as I did it, I saw my roommate staring at me in shock. Apparently he had thrown some of his stuff in with mine, including his underwear, the underwear I was sniffing. He moved out shortly after. Back in high school, I was a photographer at a summer camp. One time at the end of a day, as kids were being picked up by their parents, one girl saw me and said to her mother, Mom, that's the man who took pictures of me. That mother spun around so fast. Fortunately, when she instantly realized I was the camp photographer, we both exchanged an awkward nervous smile and laugh. But boy, when I heard that girl say that, my heart skipped a beat. Talk about awkward. My new neighbor told me about a house fire in his old neighborhood. It was full, and he and his family were roasting marshmallows in their fireplace when they heard the fire truck siren. They ran outside and saw the emergency vehicles a few houses down in front of their neighbor's house. They ran down the street toward the crowd. As they stood with the crowd watching the house burn they were getting nasty looks. It was then he realized they were still holding the roasting sticks with marshmallows on them. Adjusting my brother's package this one is pretty ridiculous on its own, but I inadvertently made it much worse. A few years back, I went down south to visit my older brother for a street. Pat is day bar crawl, where you get on a bus and visit 10 bars in 10 hours. About 2 hours into the event, my brother thought it would be funny to stick a rolled up t-shirt down one of his panned legs to emulate a giant penis. It looked really weird, so I put my drink down and walked over to adjust it to make it appear more phallic. So I'm bent down, squeezing it and smoothing it out, while he just stood there with his pelvis thrust forward, to make it easier on me. A woman bartender happened to come out of a back room, and walk past us, while it was happening. She stopped and looked at us, while I was just fondling away. When I noticed she was staring, the words that came out of my mouth were no, no, it's okay, he's my brother. Her eyes went white, and she turned around and walked away. That was pretty embarrassing, but it's fun to look back and laugh about it. Went to a friend's house 
and since it was an after party for a play in high school, on a Friday, of course there was beer and we were all underage. I wasn't drinking but a buddy of mine needed to go home, so I dropped him off and headed back. As I got out of the car, when I got back I noticed it was quiet, but it's a huge house, like 4, 5k square feet, and I'd figured they were in the basement doing something quieter and I couldn't hear them. Front door locked. Okay I was just here 15 minutes ago, head to back door, unlocked. Awesome. Now the entire house was beeping, as if someone was breaking in. Holy fuck that's this house right here. Oh fuck that's me. Run into basement. Nobody there. Upstairs. Nobody there. Kitchen. Lights off. Start to hear the house phone ring, but I don't answer, and I know it's too late. Call friend. No answer. Call another friend. No answer. See beer cans everywhere, so I cleaned them up and hide them, hid the brownies they had, checked around the house one more time for stuff, and waited for my inevitable demise. Friends call me back as I'm outside freaking the hell out, and they start to rush home. Long story short the cops showed up with two dogs and guns pointed at me, and I get slammed to the ground and handcuffed. Friends arrived at home, and explained situation just in time, before I'm hauled off, they decided to run out, to eat at the exact convenient time I left, never told me, and left the bank door unlocked with the house alarm armed. That was a hell of a night. You have a message from the weird man. Like and subscribe for nothing in return.